Welcome everyone. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. So we're going to jump in to see what is coming towards you. We're going to do each sign. We're going to start with the sun sign of Capricorn going all the way through Sagittarius. This is going to be for the month of February going into March. So we're going to see what's coming ahead for you guys. Each sign one by one. All right. So let's see. Let's get into some things here. What messages do we have for all 12 signs, please? Capricorn through Sagittarius. What's coming towards? Capricorns, you guys look like you have uh, money coming towards you. Stability, okay? This could be marriage. This could be um, family, legacy. But this could also be the bag, okay? So you guys may be getting new jobs, new opportunities coming in. But it looks like you are focused on your pentacle, okay? It looks like you're focused on your pentacle. All right, so that's what's up, Cappies, most definitely. Let's hop into Aquarius. What is coming towards Aquarius? We got the Ace of Cups. Okay, so this is a new beginning, a new start, a renewal, okay? Someone that you could have possibly been with on and off again possibly tries to come back in and rekindle want something new, okay? Pisces, what is coming towards Pisces? What is coming towards my Pisces? Coming towards Pisces. You got a few of them, okay? Pisces. We have a wish fulfillment, a wish coming true. It's like people will see your wishes come true, okay? We got the Nine of Cups, the Page of Swords, okay? So this is people watching you, okay? Someone could possibly be keeping their eye on you. We got the Star card, which is Aquarius' energy, but it's also the healing, okay? healing this is having hope and faith but compared paired compared with the um nine of cups this is a wish fulfillment with the hierophant this is most definitely like you've walked away from something that didn't serve you and you're going into something amazing pisces dope 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 energy aries what's coming towards my aries we got the high priestess. Okay, so you guys are possibly dealing with a Pisces. But this is, you are possibly being silent, Aries. You might be doing something secretive. You might be being secretive, okay? You might be trying to keep things very low-key, keeping things on the low, okay? Being a mystery. Someone could be coming towards you um, with some type of secret. What's the high priestess here? You may be studying temperance, okay? Temperance. Some of you guys might be going through some type of healing or transformation, okay? Your intuition is maybe telling you that something is false, something isn't real, possibly like a relationship. You got the Two of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Maybe there's infidelity issues, okay? But your intuition is, is telling you, um, you know, about this situation, I think you guys are having like a wake up call, some type of transformation. All right, we got Cancer. Cancer, we got the Queen of Wands. You may have a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries person coming towards you. Okay, man, I'm picking up on a lot of flirting. Okay, so there's been a lot of flirting going on. Possibly a relationship. Oh, a relationship get, could be getting ready to come in for you, something new. But I'm picking up that there's a lot of flirting going on, okay? There's a lot of flirting. Or you guys are carrying this energy of the Queen of Wands. You may be feeling yourself. You may be putting on makeup, getting dressed up. You know, you might just be giving, giving everybody that fiery energy, okay? Let's go to Leo. 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 What is coming towards Leo? Oh, we got the five of pentacles. Okay, five of pentacles. Leos, you guys could be feeling left out or you could be leaving someone out in the cold. Okay, someone here is possibly 
getting left out in the cold, okay? Or you guys are working on your finances. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Okay, I feel like you guys are working on yourself. You're working towards something, okay? You're working towards stability and um, independency. I feel like you're working on your pentacle, okay? You're trying to better yourself. So you may feel like you have to leave someone out in the cold in order to do that, okay? Virgos. Let's see what's coming towards Virgos. What's coming towards Virgos? Oh, we got success. We got success, Virgos. You guys have success in being recognized and recognition. People, like, this is like celebrity status, okay? You guys are getting attention from everybody from everywhere, okay? I'm most definitely telling you guys got success on the horizon, all right? So, Libras, let's go into Libras. Let's go into Libras. Libras. We got the hermit card, okay? So you may feel the need to isolate yourself or someone is isolating themselves from you. You could be dealing with a Virgo, but you could be doing some soul searching or you may be ghosting someone, okay? You may be, you know, taking a time period off and, you know, kind of being like a loner for right now. Why is the hermit card here for Libras? Okay. You're trying to avoid a disaster. Okay, maybe there's some type of offer on a table or someone is inviting you to something and you may feel like it's not a good idea. Um, but I feel like you are isolating yourself from something. Okay, and you're trying to avoid a disaster here. Okay, you're trying to avoid it. We got Scorpio. What's coming towards Scorpio? Oh, Scorpio, we got the Two of Cups. There is a union here. There's someone here that you have a connection with, a bond with. Okay, but but peep this, Scorpios. There may be some type of conflict that needs to be balanced out, okay? There are some issues that need to be balanced out. It could be in regards on going 50-50 in, in a relationship because I got the Ace of Pentacles and the Justice card. You could be dealing with a Libra, but there's definitely like how to split money. Okay, there could be an issue in regards to that, but your focus may be on your relationship. Okay, now let's go into Sagittarius. Sagittarius, what message is there for Sagittarius? Oh, we got the devil. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, but I'm picking up that there could be like with the Ten of Cups and the Justice card here, I feel like there could be a marriage involved um, for some. That's not for all. But I feel like there could even be a obsession. There could be bad habits. Okay, something that need something that you're bound and tied to. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil card here? Seven of Pentacles. I keep getting four of wands and marriage energy. For some of you, this is a marriage or something in regards to your home life. But there's something that you're, you're being patient. You're patiently waiting for something. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Waiting for communication. You're waiting on some type of communication from someone. Um, you feel stuck or trapped in a situation or you feel like someone is trying to break free I feel like you feel like someone is trying to break free and you're waiting for some type of uh, contact from someone okay I'm picking up that someone could be a little obsessive or could be possessive uh, type energy but I feel like you guys are waiting for some type of communication to come in from someone why is the page of cups here or you're waiting for some type of message in regards to like some flirting because the page of cups is good news but it's also like flirty type energy this is pisces this energy as well okay some of you could be um 
and the needing to drop a third party, okay? Somebody's having regrets and feeling like they need to drop a third party. Why is the five of cups here? Someone's having to change your heart. All right, so I hope these messages were helpful, guys. And until next time, ciao for now.